Speaker Pelosi slamming members of Congress who won't vote on the debt ceiling. Watch this. Why get mad at members? Why twist the arms of moderates if, if, if this is not going to move anywhere? What are you talking about? We have a responsibility to uphold, to lift up the full faith and credit of the United States of America. That's what we have to do. These members have all voted for this last week. I have no patience for people not voting for well, very interesting. No patience. Uh, uh, the, the gentleman on the right-hand side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen, is the honorable senator from the great state of Indiana. He is known as Mike Braun. He's a Republican. That sounded from Speaker Pelosi. I'm sure you heard that. That sounded to me like desperation. What do you say? You know, we're talking about the, the Nats uh, stadium and the uh, ball game with a lot of balls being up in the air this evening. She's done that here. There are so many moving parts to raising the debt ceiling, uh, the spending spree bill of uh, reconciliation. And this is the first time I've witnessed that she's in a real pickle. She's had to disconnect the two bills uh, to get the hard infrastructure bill voted on first, said they never do it. Uh, debt ceiling is interesting, Stu. I vote against raising it every time it comes up because I want to talk about reforming a broken system. We haven't done budgets here in 20 years that we've sure. adhered to. We shrug off trillion dollar deficits. A man, imagine running your show if you were losing 23 cents on every dollar. My business, we'd be out on the street. That's the way the federal government works. So in this case, she is correct. Republicans and Democrats have full blame of bringing us into the range of 26 trillion in debt. The additional two with the rescue bill, the four they've got teed up, this is above and beyond anything else we've seen. It's taken advantage of a crisis, wanting to push a social agenda about turning this country into a different place and then asking us to be part of it. It's hypocritical for us to say that we haven't been part of it up until this, but this is going to baseline our annual deficits another half trillion because the pay-fors they're talking about, those are soft, only a few of them will materialize. We'll be bo mostly borrowing more money like we've done it for years with no budgets, the biggest business in the world run by the seat of its pants. Yeah, yeah, real fast, I've only got 20 seconds. Yeah. Mr. Senator, I don't think they're going to get three and a half trillion. What say you? I don't think so either. That's another part of a bad business plan. Uh, Mansion and Cinema, I think, will negotiate that down. If they don't get something that's major egg on the face of Schumer, Biden, and especially Pelosi, because I think she runs a show out there, out here on the other side of the aisle. She'll get something done, my opinion. So, okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Only time will tell. Senator Braun, thanks for being here. Always appreciate it. You're welcome. It. See you later.